Welcome to my door. <laughs> so Ryan, what's the next project you're working on? We are working on putting a door to our hull. Owner's version catamarans have a door that slides that closes off their hull to the rest of the boat for privacy or make it dark or whatever. Um, and we haven't had that since we've owned the boat. We've basically not had a door to our bedroom for two years now. We have these metal linear slider things. I've seen our neighbor's boat uses something similar. So this is what the new lagoons are using. What I ordered ended up being a little bit beefier than what they're using. We'll just have a really strong sliding door, which honestly isn't a bad thing. If we really need to be able to close off the door for some reason to keep people out, it'll, it'll work well. So I need to cut these down to size um, for what we need, and I'm figuring that out now. I'm gonna try using the grinder to cut this, because honestly it's like probably the only thing we have that can cut this really hard metal. So we're gonna do this on the dock, because this will spray a lot of little iron dust everywhere, and it'll, uh, if we do it on the boat, it'll just rust like crazy. Over here, the wind is blowing, so it's just gonna go behind me. It's gonna take a while. This is the tool. This metal is very hard because it's used for like uh, moving big machinery around. Our door is really, really overkill for this. Here are the cuts. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. This is on the actual piece that we're gonna use. It's still hot. So, no, nah, it's too hot to touch. But uh, it looks good. So, this is where the door is gonna go. I had to reinforce the ceiling right here because two years ago when we cut this wall out, we cut it with basically complete disregard with what we were gonna do in the future. I just left a little nub to attach to. So I've uh, reinforced it uh, with some good hardwood right here, but really the strength of it is this is thickened epoxy with, um, half high density filler and half colloidal silica and it's still curing but this stuff is going to be hard as stone and it's well attached to what's here so the door is going to hang from this uh via this pole right here that i just cut and the nice thing about these is that they can be mounted pretty much any orientation the bearings will still work so i'm going to mount this one here sideways like this which will if i did it down i wouldn't have headroom so i mount it sideways like this then the door, I can build the door so that it reaches around and it hangs on. Um, so this is where one of the rails is gonna go and then the other rail is gonna go somewhere right around here, a little bit out of the way of foot traffic um, and same thing, it's gonna hang sideways. The only downside is these doors weren't meant for that so I'm gonna have to cut these doors kind of and make them a lot smaller. But, oh, and there's also this decorative flange thing here that came out. The remnant of it is down here, uh, so I cut that to make it smooth. So now it'll slide closed and then slide open to about here. I am building the door for our hull and um, roughing it out, but it's holding together pretty well. I got a couple pieces to put to make it supported and then we can do some test fits uh, to make sure there's gonna be some tweaks to get it it was perfect with those linear rails. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it's going so far. It'll be exciting to have a door to our room. So, this is the door. I am putting an epoxy filler in the screw holes just to make it nice and hard. Tomorrow, I'll go back through and sand this all down, make it nice and smooth, and then we'll put something on top to like treat it. It's getting close. I think we'll be able to hang it this weekend, which is uh, good. I'm putting epoxy filler in because the normal wood filler is kind of soft and I just, I don't want them to fall out over time and the epoxy will be nice and hard. I just mix equal parts of the blue and the yellow. That's a Total Boat product and it works really well. What's happening now? Um, fixing a small, a couple small nicks, but I'm sanding down the uh, stuff I did last night because it's cured now and it's hard. So, sand it down and then uh, put some layers of polyurethane on it to seal it and stiffen it up a little bit, protect it.
All right, so we've painted it a few coats. I think this is like four coats of paint right now. I might do one more. Uh, but I'm doing the back side. This is the side that's going to be mounted. And then I think I'll mount it and just do the rest of the painting inside the boat. Because it takes up a ton of room out here. And it's kind of hard to keep it clean. But I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. Ryan's just working away. Hopefully this is the last coat of paint. I'm using some of my bright side paint on it to make it shiny. Despite some complications, I got the door in last night. It took a few hours, but I'm pretty pleased with it. Let me show you. As you can see, I still have to finish the inside of the door, but we're making progress here with the construction. The uh, rails work nicely. As you can see here, the stair goes around this divot that I made, and then the rail slides on this part, and also the rail slides here. I think some of these bearings might have some bad balls in them, so it's kind of rumbly. You can also see that I had to add some, I'm going to have to add a spacer in here. I'm using some nuts right now, but uh, that spacer keeps it off the wall. We have a stopping block that's just temporary until we get a prettier one. And then from the outside. Okay, let's see what's been done. There. Welcome to Hi. my door. <laughs> so it works. Come down and show you. So this is the door. It's done enough to show off. We're still going to do some things to it, but as you can see. Oh. So the baby gate's kind of in the way right now. We might get rid of it or might not. We're still figuring things out. But as you can see, nice smooth action. It's a little loud. I think I need to tweak the bearings, but um, I'm pretty pleased with how it's working. It was a huge pain to do because this rail does not run parallel to this wall. These are main, This is a manufacturer line and this is a manufacturer line, but they're not parallel. So as the door comes this way, it gets closer and closer to this wall, but I made it work put a stop and we'll put little latches so that it won't be sliding back and forth when we're underway. As you can see we put hats here uh, for now. So it's pretty sturdy all things considered um, and some of my adjustments if you can see over here we uh, these doors used to run all the way down but obviously they can't anymore. We're gonna end up redoing this wall with a different laminate but you can see that these little doors work just fine and we still have really easy access. I made it just so you had easy access to the seacock. It makes it feel like a separate room. Like this now feels like a room as opposed to just a part of the salon. Um, we're gonna build probably a box here that's just gonna hold some camera paraphernalia. Just get it right across. But for now, it's nice to have the hat kind of out of the way. It's the next day and we're going to work on the next project. In this case, it's gonna be a mini galley refit. But that's gonna be the next refit video because there's a lot to show. So uh, stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next one.